everyone. My name is Upasana Taku and I'm the co-founder at ZackPay, which is a company which provides payment solutions for uh, businesses on the web, on the mobile web, as well as on apps. Um, and before I do the demo, a um, couple of things I wanted to uh, talk about. Firstly, uh, how many of you were at uh, Rajan Anandan's talk this morning? So one of the key things uh, he spoke about and I was very um, encouraged by it that, you know, India is adding three to five million users on the internet every month and they are all on the mobile. And so the next question actually is, how many of you actually have a smartphone, either an Android or iOS or Blackberry? Great, so I think 50% of the audience. Now the next question is, how many of you actually transact on it? Like do you actually get to buy books on the mobile or pay your bills on the mobile? Okay, I would say 10% or so. Now this 10% is actually going to become 100% in the next two to three years. That is our big focus. And I'm going to show you how we are solving the problem for doing in-app payments. And the reason it's important to know is because in India, the existing solutions actually are on the mobile browser. Nobody has tried to complete the payment inside the app, which we think is very important because um, it gives a crisp experience to the user and ensures that the payment conversion rate or success rate uh, remains high. So without too much ado, I'm going to go into the demo. Um, the solution we have is a software development kit for Android apps as well as iOS apps. It's currently live on a few apps like MobiQuick and O Music on Android. And it's also uh, live on iOS and Blackberry in MobiQuick apps. Right now I'm going to demo in an iPad app developed by one of our customers, MobiQuick. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to pay in it. Um, so this here is the app. You can see on the top right is my uh, email address, which is my account. And on the top left is my wallet balance, which is only 9 rupees. And now I want to add money into my wallet. So I'm going to say I want to add 100 rupees. And it's asking me for payment solutions. This is actually not very well visible. But I'm going to go with the show. And um, the screen actually looks very crisp here on my iPad. Apologize for the poor display. So um, I'm going to take my card number and punch it in. And if tomorrow I see any uh, unauthorized transactions, I'm going to know that it's from one of the viewers who, was, who has a photographic memory and was sitting at my demo today. So you have actually all my information. Probably not a good thing. <laughs> Don't worry, we have 3D secure thanks to Reserve Bank of India. I'm going to change it right after the demo. So as you can see, I've entered the card info and hopefully the wireless solution will survive. It's not a really fast one. But with your Airtel, Vodafone 3G, you will get a much crisper experience. So the interesting thing here is that the 3D Secure page, as you can see, has opened ins inside the app. You can still see the app's header and everything. So we're not taking the user from the app to a mobile browser, which is where you know a lot of glitches happen and payments fail. Now I'm going to try really hard not to show my password to everyone. Oh my God, you wouldn't do that for me. Okay, I've had a problem because I was just testing it before, right before, and this should not have happened. Let me try to do something else and come back. Murphy law, Murphy's law always work with the demo. Yeah, well, they gave us the wireless password like exactly one minute before Puneet announced my name. So I was trying one test transaction just to be sure it works. I won't be surprised if it fails again now because I've tried the same card three times.
So I think the subtle point and the important thing to see in this. Can we turn this on? It's 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 on. Oh. So the um, turn on mic number two. Can you hear me? Please go through now. Okay, so finally, my payment is successful. I now have 100 rupees in my wallet. And now I need a volunteer, someone who wants a free you know, payment of their prepaid or postpaid. And this will take just one second, literally. Maybe I'll go with Puneet's number. My prepaid number? Prepaid, postpaid, anything. 95352. 95352. 645062. 642. 642. This is prepaid, postpaid? Uh, it's prepaid. Okay, and it's Airtel Karnataka? Yeah. Okay. You can put more, I won't mind. <laughs> well, I have 109. So, my screen says recharge is confirmed, but now I need to know whether you got it or not. Yeah. So uh, let's start with uh, uh, the demo uh, where uh, you know, we are going to showcase the payment by card option at the time of delivery. Uh, so as you all know, uh, Mintra is an e-commerce uh, retailer. So we focus on fashion categories. And uh, you know, as somebody already said, 70% uh, of transactions are via COD. Right? So now uh, there are three big benefits that this particular app and this particular uh, feature gives us. Uh, so first, first of all, it, uh, transfers a lot of the COD transactions to credit card transactions. So that means less cash management headaches for Mentra. Uh, secondly, uh, believe it or not, you know, our delivery assistants have become experts in uh, locating ATMs. That's because, uh, you know, when they make deliveries, uh, folks typically don't have exact change and uh, or they may not he even have any cash. So the delivery boys actually end up driving the customers to the ATMs so they can, you know, give them the... <laughs> So they can pay for the delivery, exactly, full service. So you can imagine how much that affects uh, productivity. And uh, finally, from a customer standpoint, uh, exact change is always an issue, right? I mean, we may order something that's worth 10,000 bucks, but we don't want to let go of the 20 bucks, you know, that's owed back to us. So uh, again, you know, a huge issue. Uh, so all these issues were kind of solved with the easy tap solution that we've implemented. So moving on uh, directly to, to the demo, what you're seeing here is uh, an actual phone of a delivery assistant. So they basically get a list of deliveries loaded into their phone every morning. Uh, so this is based on you know route-based optimization that we do. So once an order is placed within a few hours, it's ready for shipping. It reaches the delivery center. The list of deliveries uh, gets loaded onto the delivery assistant's uh, mobile. And uh, let's take uh, one of these COD deliveries right here. Okay, so I see I've got to make a delivery to Satish. Uh, I need to collect uh, 9,665. I have the address. That's great. Uh, so he's, you know, Satish is right in front of me. Okay, so what do I do next? I, I basically uh, select the appropriate delivery status. So in this case, it's going to be delivered. Um, and this is Satish's home location. So I'm going to select that. Uh, so again, you know, a lot of these attributes are captured for our own use uh, in terms of analytics and customer profiling. Uh, I won't get into that uh, right now. So what's, uh, who, who's the person who's receiving the package? It's Satish himself, so I'm going to select self. And now uh, the interesting options, right? So uh, am I going to collect cash? No, I mean the customer wants to use a debit or credit card. So I'm going to select this option right here. So I get this uh, screen where it asks me to confirm the amount. So I check with the customer. I, I check with the invoice. I make sure it's the right amount. I confirm. And now is the magic moment where, uh, you know, using this small device right here that's uh, fixed to the phone, that's fixed to the 3.5 mm jack of the phone, I'm able to actually swipe a card at the time of de uh, delivery. Sorry, uh, just give me a second. Okay, so I'm going to use my card. Hopefully this is something I can reverse later. Okay. All right, it's reading the card information. It's authorizing the request. Processing, fantastic. So uh, the payment has been approved. Move on. And finally, yes, uh, you know, we still need to capture customer signatures for regulatory purposes. So I capture that. 
I'm done. And I've actually got an SMS in my phone right now. I can't show it to you because it's not connected. But the SMS says, so basically I get a receipt via SMS. So uh, even the paper receipt issue is solved. So there's a record of the uh, payment having been made. And uh, that's pretty much it. So that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's as easy as that. While we are actually uh, switching the equipment, well, let's take one, uh, one or two questions from the, from the audience. So, sir, is it a subscription or per transaction basis? How much is that? And then uh, why Mantra chose this? Right. So uh, again, you know, uh, so when we first explored EasyTap, it wasn't clear to us what the benefits were. So we actually did a pilot in a few locations. So again, as I said, you know, the three benefits that we saw uh, you know, caused us to take the decision to go ahead with uh, EasyTap. So there's hard savings as well as uh, great benefits in terms of customer experience. So that's why we chose EasyTap. Now, in terms of billing, uh, it is subscription based. Uh, so you can talk to the EasyTap uh, folks about uh, the pricing, but it is subscription based. Thank you, Vikram. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Vikram. Uh, we, we're going to actually uh, switch use cases again. Uh, we're going to go back to mobile, but for a very different use case this time, right? Uh, so one of, the, one of the key categories that have grown tremendously in the Western world is digital goods, right? So and this is my phone screen on the side, right? So if you, so uh, the basic solution, as I said, is carrier billing, enabling micropayment, where we simplify integration for developers, merchants, digital publishers to do billing via your prepaid. And second part is obviously making it simpler for you to actually integrate it into your app, WAP, or as an API for your services. So I'm just going to demo an example of Facebook, which is using PayPal, and PayPal is using iPay to do carrier billing in India. So if you're on Facebook and you want to play Texas poker, you just say you want to buy more chips. You could. seems to be stuck yeah so you could just click on buy and mo buy with mobile select the number of tokens that you want to buy the coins for 23 bucks click on continue and so Facebook picks PayPal picks up the last number you actually used to do the carrier billing say continue now what you're gonna see on your phone screen is the pin code that actually comes up to your phone to authenticate this transaction and enable us to actually decrement that amount from your prepaid balance. So I'm just going to enter that 4904. So the other thing you, no you would notice is instead of an SMS, it's actually going to pop up as a flash on top of your phone. And that's it, the points will be added to your Facebook account and you'll get an SMS which basically says you paid 23 bucks from your prepaid balance. So if you see that scrolling up there. Yeah, so 23 bucks deducted from my prepaid balance. So that's basically it. Same thing can be used uh, for Economist uh, is another merchant that's using it to enable micro billing for sachet pricing that it wants to do for its magazine. So you could buy leaders for 49 bucks a month, while you know the main magazine would come for about 200 bucks per week. So multiple use cases enabling developers to actually do billing on 900 million mobile phones. Thank you. I guess questions we can take up later. Yeah. No. So PayPal is just one of the merchants on us. Economist is another merchant. So uh, merchants can directly integrate this. Developers can directly integrate the So from a mobile uh, web perspective, I can directly integrate with your service and yes. make the payment? Yes. Okay. So right now we've got Etel and Idea Live. Vodafone is an integration. And we hope to have the everyone, everyone else in live by about Jan mid. So uh, work in progress. Yeah, yeah. 
So here, what we're enabling the payment for is for digital goods and digital content. So it's coming in from your prepaid account. It's not going to use the Airtel Money account, which could be used for physical goods. Guys, good afternoon to you all. Uh, as as Puneet said, uh, uh, one of the most important problems in India, we think, is uh, solving authentication. And solving authentication in a very, very simple manner and in a consistent manner across all use cases. So uh, Upasana just asked you guys how many, how many of you guys have smartphones. And I think more than, more than 50 to 80 percent of you guys actually raised your hands. And it's awesome. And I think most of you guys are connected because most of you guys are paying bills, etc. right? Uh, so we are going to make, your, make the life of you guys much, much simpler. So let's, let's look at what is the current state of payments. So uh, I, I think you will empathize with this. The current uh, uh, state of payments is like there are too many steps and there is definitely you, you would have hit the back button sometime and you would have completely lost the experience. You would have gone to the start of booking a ticket in IRCTC, right? <laughs> so and a lot of people, we have found that a lot of people forget password. Typically very, very normal customers who are uh, trying to uh, do a payment the first time, they just, they just don't have any clue about what is 3D Securus. And, <coughs> Uh, and we see that like people keep forgetting the passwords. And our, our solution, we have a solution for that. And we will quickly start with the demo. Gautam is going to do a demo. Okay, so I'm on the Snapdeal page and uh, I have selected my goods and I'm trying to do the payment. So here I have my card stored and I'm just trying to enter my CVV and I click on pay. So what you see on the phone is that a pop-up comes up. Uh, if you see this pop-up says State Bank of India, that's just for the demo. Uh, so primarily what we are envisioning is that you have apps which are sponsored by the bank, which are installed on your mobile phones, and you do all authentication via these apps. So here I click on approve. It's gone, and the payment is successful. Uh, so how easy was that? So the idea primarily is that rather than rely on the carrier uh, using an OTP, so OTP takes time, uh, and you're waiting, and then you have to type in and all that. What we've realized is that if you optimize on the payload that you're sending, even on a 2G connection, sending a message to your phone is much faster over the web, over the data connection. So that's what we are doing over here. And this is actually much more secure than an OTP because your device is a very personal thing. So I can fingerprint your device. I can have a private key in it. And just like your standard SMS OTP, I can keep sending tokens that get regenerated in the background so that if uh, if a fraud, fraudster steals your private key or gets your device fingerprint, then even then we can catch a fraud. So that's the idea. Uh, so this is the vision for authentication in general. It's not just about authentication on the web. We can do the same thing for authentication, say, on the mobile. So let me just show a quick demo of that. So here's just a small sample app, uh, some online store, and I've, I've just selected some product, and I'm clicking on pay. Uh, so the, I have my stored cards again. I'm entering the CVV, and I'm clicking on approve. Yeah, and I'm done. So again, uh, the thing is that I just had to enter my CVV because the device is acting as the second factor. From the device, I'm able to ensure that this transaction was made from this device. So I don't actually have to do a two-factor of enter CVV, then enter another password, or get an OTP. In the background, I'm sending in the fingerprint details. I'm authenticating using a private key. Whatever cryptographic techniques are there, and that basically that basically makes sure that uh, the, the transaction is secure. What else is? It's not just web. Uh, we all do bill payments, right? If you speak to the banks, they'll tell you that the maximum number of disputes are in bill payments. Uh, I just spoke to my mom today morning and she was telling me that 
she paid the bill and the credit card guy also paid the bill and she is not happy. So we can do that quickly. Uh, 